What is up guys, Eric here from Real Film Reviews bringing you another movie review, this time for the new Tom Cruise film, Mission Impossible Fallout. Mission Impossible Fallout is directed by Christopher McQuarrie, stars Tom Cruise, Simon Pegg, Ving Rhames, Henry Cavill, and Rebecca Ferguson. Fallout picks up two years after the events of Rogue Nation where Solomon Lane was captured. After his capture, the syndicate that he had formed was now known as the Apostles, who are basically terrorists for hire, who are trying to get their hands on some plutonium that has gone missing so they can create three nuclear bombs that could be placed anywhere in the world and it is up to the IMF to stop them. Now with a film like Mission Impossible I think arguably the most important thing about the entire film is its action and this movie has absolutely fantastic action. All of it is extremely intense and suspenseful and it sounds very brutal and there, there's a very large variety of action in the film. There's car chases and helicopter chases and foot chases and hand hand-to-hand combat and shootouts. It's basically if you took every different kind of chase that you could imagine in a film and every different type of combat scenario and put it into one film, it's almost all here in Mission Impossible Fallout and it's all done to perfection in this movie. It's all filmed so well. There's no quick cuts. There's no shaky cam. It's very visceral and in your face with the way it films this action so that way it feels very real. In terms of the choreography for the chases and all of the different fight sequences, this film is like almost on the same level as John Wick for me, which if you know how much I love John Wick, that is very high praise for this film. And then the sound design for this film is fantastic. The way that they are able to shoot these fight sequences to sort of drown out all of the other sound and only focus in on these punches and kicks to make them sound just like bone crunching is fantastic. And all of the small audio details that they put into all of the different chases, whether it's on foot or in some kind of vehicle, is absolutely fantastic. Specifically, the motorcycle sequence has so many really interesting audio qualities to it that made it that much more immersive. Lorne Balfe's score in the film is also very well done. It's really good because it, it's there to build intensity and suspense and it's very energetic and it feels like it's very much there to push the story forward. But the very interesting thing that this film chooses to do is the score disappears when action sequences start normally. So while you have this very intense score leading up to it, then all of a sudden everything will just go quiet and you enter this very intense sequence and that score helped build that sequence to that point that you did didn't even know it was building to, which is so impressive. Because when you take away that music from a shootout, or from a fight scene, or from a chase, what you get is something that feels so much more visceral to the viewer. Because what you're watching doesn't have sound. Just like if you saw this in real life, there wouldn't be some extra music being played over it. And that music helped lead up to that sequence to make it feel more intense. But once it starts, all of a sudden it feels like you are just watching men fight each other in a bathroom, or you see these two people racing through Paris on motorcycles or something, and it's so awesome. Christopher McQuarrie and Rob Hardy, I think, make easily the most visually stunning movie that has come out so far this year with this film. They are able to somehow take a film like Mission Impossible that has so many over-the-top stunts and things that should kind of pull you out of the film almost because they're so insane and so crazy, yet they film it in such a way that it works works so well. The stunts are so well done that when you're watching it, you are fully invested and you fully believe what you are watching is real. And that is something that is extremely difficult to do. And I really think that so many props have to be given to McQuarrie and Hardy for that because this movie looks fantastic. And then on the note of kind of the crazy things that happen in this movie, the stunts throughout this film are some of the most death-defying stunts I think I have ever seen in a movie. I'm honestly not sure how Tom Cruise is still alive because the crazy stuff that he does in this film almost tops basically everything he's done in every other Mission Impossible movie. There is one specific shot in this film that I don't want to spoil because it is so crazy when you're watching it. That's the only word you can use. It's just crazy. But you will know it when you see it because there's no Hollywood on that shot at all. It's just Tom Cruise being a crazy person. Make sure that you see this movie in theaters because these stunts will not feel the same if you watch them on a screen in your house. This movie deserves to be seen in a theater 
for the sheer scope of all of the stunts that happen in it. And then also the script is really good. It almost makes me mad how good that this movie is because a film like Mission Impossible shouldn't do everything so well like this one did. Somehow this movie managed to take sort of the action spy genre and do it basically picture perfectly. There's a lot of twists and turns in the story. There's moments where you think you understand what's going on, but then the story will get turned on its head, and all of a sudden you have to rethink everything that's going on throughout it, because maybe this part that happened 20 minutes ago means more than it did but then when it happened, but now that some other thing has come to light, all of a sudden it changes the way the whole story is moving. And then the last thing that I have to talk about is the cast. Obviously Tom Cruise is fantastic, but I genuinely think with the choreography that he pulls off in this film, the stunts that he does, and the performance that he gives, this is maybe the movie that solidifies Tom Cruise as arguably the greatest action movie star alive. I know that he's not a Schwarzenegger or a, you know, Stallone or a Willis, but good God, this man puts everything that he has, he puts his life on the line for these movies, and it is so impressive to watch on screen. Alongside him, you have Henry Cavill giving what I think is probably the best performance of his career in this movie, given all of the physicality of it and the actual emotion that he puts into it. Simon Pegg and Ving Rhames are great and bring some much-needed comedy at a few specific moments in the film. They don't overdo it. They don't try to make the film too funny. They bring moments just enough to make you laugh and kind of break some of the very serious aspects of the film. And then you have Rebecca Ferguson and Vanessa Kirby being badasses throughout the whole film, participating in big action scenes with huge set pieces, and they do a phenomenal job at it. Honestly, no one in this movie did a bad job. It's kind of crazy that I'm talking about a Mission Impossible movie where the script was great and somehow no one in the cast managed to mess up anything. Literally the only complaint that I could even kind of have is that I think that there are a few lines, not like story elements, just specific lines that come off a little cheesy, but that is genuinely something that I think you can very easily forgive if you watch this movie. And because of that, I am very happy to give Mission Impossible Fallout my first A plus of 2018. This is the best Mission Impossible movie, this is the best movie that has come out so far this year, and this is probably the best action movie that we have gotten since John Wick 2 came out. Go see this movie in theaters. It deserves to be seen on a massive screen. If you can see it in IMAX, dear God, see it in IMAX because it is so visually impressive. It is so well done in every single aspect. And I am so happy that Mission Impossible, it took them this many movies, but they were able to make what I genuinely think is an action movie masterpiece. Well guys, as always, I'm Eric. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of Mission Impossible Fallout, share everything we do here on Real Film Reviews, and hope to see you guys later.